Courtney Barnett and Kurt Vile come together on a collaboration album, both very talented artists for sure. I remember really liking, sometimes I uh, sit and think, sometimes I just sit, very good album title by the way, but I remember liking that a lot and then it really wore off on me, like I ended up really thinking it was actually pretty mediocre apart from about three songs which I loved, but the rest of the album fell flat, it was a very bizarre opinion change on my part because I remember loving it and then it ended up being an album that I thought was pretty meh but Kurt Vile has some pretty solid albums under his discography on his last album he had Pretty Pimpin which is one of his best songs and Waking on a Pretty Days which was one of the best albums of the 2013 I think it came out so two talented artists coming together on a collaboration album certainly isn't unheard of. I mean, we've seen stuff like this before, especially two singer-songwriters in this genre. It's typical, of course. And the idea of these two collaborating kind of makes sense. Stylistically, they're pretty similar. They both go for that kind of lazy singing, the sort of monotonous tone to their voice. Um, the kind of mundane pastiche in their lyrics, kind of singing about th sort of ordinary things that don't amount to much. So, of course, they're very similar, so this is technically like the match made in heaven, right? No, no, it, it's not. It's, it's really not at all. This album is just... It's about as plain as the background you see there, like that colour, it's just so plain. That that's, that that's the album. The biggest issue on this album is how badly these vocalists clash. To the point where you realise that they're basically the, oppo the opposing genders of each other. Like Kurt Vile is a male version of Courtney Barnett, and Courtney Barnett is a female version of Kurt Vile. Like that's what you end up thinking because they're basically the same. They both do the exact same thing and it ends up being so boring and dull that I'm just kind of wondering what was expected of these two to come together really because I just should have known that they would have sounded like this because they're just the same. Neither of them complement each other in a way that makes it sound all that unique. They basically are just singing over the same instrumentals that they would do on their own music so it doesn't really amount to all that much. When they harmonise together, there's like nothing there. They're, they're just both so monotonous, as I've already said, so it sounds pretty bad when they're singing together because neither of them come through with any kind of vocals that shine, so they just sound like they're lazily singing together. You would really think that their voices would mesh well together, but they really don't mesh at all. If anything, they consistently clash, like their vocals are just too in the same lane to be together on a song. It would be like if Action Bronson featured on a Ghostface Killer song. It would be like if Bjork and Fever Ray collaborated. It would be like Designer and Future collaborating. It would be like when Chris Cornell was alive, rest in peace to him collaborating with Eddie Vedder. They may have even done that, but I bet it sounded similar to this because they're both so similar. Or even worse, Chris Cornell and the guy from friggin' Creed. Ugh. Sure, there are some nice harmonicas that flow through in the album at points, some nice guitar tones. The instrumentals are pretty surface level for indie folk and country, like, you're not getting anything new here, but what you're getting is pretty nice, but it's just when they start singing together, it doesn't work. There is a cover song of an old Kurt Vile song on here, though, where Courtney Barnett just sings on her own, Peeping Tom, which I think is probably the best because they're not singing together, it's fine just her singing over this. And also it's a very fun, familiar sounding song because if you've already heard his discography you'd know the song anyway. So maybe that's why I like it, I don't know. They're like the north and north of magnets repelling each other I think. This is what this album is, like they're, they're the same side of a magnet and they're pushing together and they kind of end up not really fitting. It's a D- minus for me, I'm just not feeling this at all. If you like Indie Folk, check it out. I'd recommend a lot better than this, so... Um, yeah, I'm just not into it. I don't know, let me know what you think. Subscribe for more reviews, and have a good day.